The quilt that we'd like to share from the Southeastern Quilt and Textile Museum in Carrollton, Georgia, is a crazy quilt made by Georgia Ann Summers Godwin um, in about 1890. It is a very simple, uh, basically pieced, functional quilt. Um, it has a pieced back as well as a front, which is unusual for a crazy quilt. We do not know whether it was uh, of necessity or of the quilter's design. The fabric on the back is cotton uh, and cotton prints. The fabric on the front is more wool and darker colors. It has very basic embroidery stitching. Um, briar patch is the most common. It has two very special fabrics in it. Uh, George's husband served in the Confederate uh, forces in the Civil War and there is fabric from his uniform uh, according to the family story um, and this quilt was given to us by Georgia's granddaughter so it is not a long family uh, family story for them to have uh, added or taken away from as the years have gone by. There is also another fabric that is very interesting. Um, it is called uh, slave or negro cloth. That is basically a uh, two thread uh, twisted fabric similar to today's denim. Um, the negro cloth fabric was primarily um, made from one thread of wool and one thread of cotton. It could have been woven in, uh, in the home on a plantation that had a weaving room or most likely in the mills of New England. This quilt um, is one of the, our favorites here um, at the Southeastern Museum of Quilting and Textiles. And every time we have an opportunity to show quilts to uh, school age groups, this is the one that we show. Um, they are particularly interested in the, uh, in the uniform fabric.